Hello? I'll never get back together. I, uh, packed. There it is. Magic in a bottle. Magic? Let's give it a try. One rule in show business. Never work with kids or animals. Oh, no. Sorry. Don't, don't do that. You're fine. You're gonna leave me alone. Look, you're, you're fine. On a road. In the middle of nowhere. All you have nowhere. to do is take the yellow brick road. Oh, no. Please fine. We'll all go. It'll be a big party. Great. Let's go kill ourselves a witch. For the look and texturing of China Girl, we studied real porcelain, how it has this kind of a crazing cracked pattern, which is actually under a uh, more of a glossy surface. It was a fine balance because too much of that and she would actually look too old. So you'll note how we played it up more around her face and less in her face proper. Throughout the animation process, it was exercise in just pulling back or kind of sculpting and being really careful and critical about making it a not over-expressive character. But I want to go with you. So we had a marionette artist on set with a puppet that was exactly like our China doll in the movie. And originally, the marionette artist was there to sort of help give the actors something to act with on stage and help the DP set up the shots. But there was also a characteristic to the way the puppet moved that we all wanted to incorporate into her animated performance. Ultimately, it had a, a big effect on the, the final look of how China Doll moved and sort of her physical characteristics. I'm not as delicate as I look! In the cases where we needed to have China Girl make big expression changes, we typically tried to hide those in either cuts or in a big head movement. In the of Many decisions were made, especially around the eyes, I don't know how many iterations we tried with different eyelash lengths and even experimenting with the physical features. Ultimately, we made her eyelids separate geometry from the rest of her face. This really helped to make her look more like a doll. We videotaped the performance of our actors and then the animators made an artistic choice about how to interpret that. Our animators were incredibly successful at this, so much so that when Joey King, who played the China Girl, was showing these to her mother, her mother actually like recognized family resemblance from other family members in the face shapes, and so I feel like we were really successful there. Thank you. <laughs> 